God, what happened? And he's real simple. I can tell you what happened. You start quiet time started going down because the daytimer started getting more other stuff in it that said, first off, it's got to be God. Well, Brandon's letter, when that came, because when I was doing the probate, it wasn't as successful. I had to do it my way. So we merged the two, and his letter is a very incredible letter. In fact, we've had people that say, can I just get the letter? No, because this comes back to a biblical thing. And this is something that I want you to know and understand it's for everyone is, you know, just like when Paul was going out preaching, they didn't want to pay Paul. God gives us talents and gifts. They deserve to be paid. And what I don't want is to get in the mindset, and this is what I see a lot of students, they get in this mindset which we call a taker. John's got a great word for it. They're net, net takers. They just want to take. If I keep taking and taking and taking, you guys will never be here because I wouldn't care about you. I don't care. Just bring me a deal, Lane. I don't care. I don't care if you can pay a thousand. I actually offered Lane, hey, would you pay me? He can make a lot more than what he was willing to, you know, than what I asked for. And he didn't even offer. I just said, would you pay me this amount? He said, sure. He already told me what he can make. Where other investors might go, gee, I bet I can get Lane to take two and I'll take the rest. I negotiate. That's not my goal. My goal is to build a relationship just like God wants. So when, we're, when we have trainings out there, and this is a good example, I have the debt-free training out there, three things will happen. One, I put it out there for free, and here's what happens when things are free. People don't do it. Mm-hmm. See, I've given training away. I have hundreds and hundreds of thousands. You've seen my picture. Mm-hmm. Thousands of dollars in training. I've loaned them to my brother, my brother-in-law, my sister-in-law who lived with us for at least a year and a half, never read a single one of them. Sorry, Christine, it's the truth. <laughs> So I'm talking to her on the camera when she watches this. And none of them ever did anything. Because you know what they didn't make? A commitment. So it takes a commitment. So we're back to it. we got to make our commitment to start the day off right, get in the right relationships, build the relationships, and not just try to push everyone off. Which is very easy in my end of the business because there's thousands constantly emailing and it's like, oh my gosh. So I'm trying to answer them all on YouTube. See, like when you say, what's Trinity Digital Print? Go to my webpage. I've already created a team there. When you come to Rio, title company, Diana's already there. Hard money, Terry's already there. We've tried to put the teams in place. You have to use them. So when it comes to these things, what I found out is then I get people to take this scenario. Hey, I'm going to take his free training, but I didn't give him the book free. So they don't want to buy the book. And I said, that's fine. But then they're back to this mentality. It'll take them 10 times longer to get there, cost them 10 times more money because they wanted to save 25 bucks. I know because I used to do it all the time. I can fix the toilet myself. I'm not paying Jim. Sorry, Jim. I'm not paying you 50 bucks to do what I know doesn't cost $2 until I started realizing every time I did it, yeah, I got good at toilets. Pretty soon I should have went into the plumbing business because I was getting good at doing repairs. I can do door locks. I would store all the door locks. Going. I can just take this to the next property. Now think about this, because this is what got me. I thought, I'll just save these door locks and put them on different properties. Till a tenant one time I had a nice done house, this beat up looking door knob. It worked. He goes, Chief, can we get a new door lock? I'm like, well, this is a new lock. This is used, you can tell. And I started thinking, it's the excellence. You know, as from a Christian standpoint, you do things with excellence to God. It's not like build a temple and just kind of halfway. He gave specific instructions on exactly the way it's supposed to be done. So with probate, what we did is we put it out there for people, and when we first did it, it was because I didn't want to do it. There was a lot in brain cancer we ought to do. We ought to do. When I had back surgery, then I had no excuse. Yeah, I couldn't time. do anything but write books. <laughs> so I said, yeah. oh, I could barely even see the screen. So we got it done, not even knowing that WIA was going to try, uh, go and license it from us. So we did. We licensed it to them. We were teaching for them at that time. So now that I'm not there, I put it down to a more affordable price. So it's out there. But what I want you to remember is it's excellent. So if any of you have gotten that probate and you've seen our probate, I don't know if anyone in here even has it, those letters, those marketing pieces, we encourage you to use. Remember two weeks ago when we did this training, I gave you some samples. Now, is it what I'm using now? No, because I'm always changing, but I keep certain, certain pieces, yeah, certain elements of it. So that's kind of where I want you to understand because in the next three weeks, you can't just rely on tracking vacants to get inventory. you got to hit that book we went through and start working all those things. You're going to have to start maybe sending some professional letters to attorneys. 
But before I let Brandon sit back down, has anybody got another question about probate? And the reason I always like probate is, show of hands, has anybody gone down there to work probate to find deals? Two. Okay. No, Two right. people. Remember when we did Rio? Five hands went up out of Five hands. hands. Is it, uh, I have a friend whose mother died. Oh, yeah, this is that story last Saturday? Yeah. It cost me 30 minutes last Saturday. Oh. <laughs> you're getting 30 seconds. Hey, you Ask your question. No, you're getting to run yeah. yeah. <laughs> That deal's done gone because Connie done got it. Oh, really? No, I'm kidding you, but yes, <laughs> ask your question. <laughs> oh, really? Um, how, how does the process work when a person dies and they don't have a will? Is it automatically probate, or does the family have to do something? Well, because somebody asked me, is it probate yet? And I said, why? Well, that was us. Know. Okay. Well, let me tell you what happened. I was actually networking about a month ago with a probate attorney, and he said to me, nothing is quicker in this world than the transfer of titles when somebody dies. As soon as you draw your last breath, officially, the title is transferred to the heirs. What probate is, though, is sort of the legal recognition of what has happened. <clears throat> if you have a will, it's going to go through probate where the courts, the judge is going to look at the will and go, yep, that's a good will. They're going to have people sign off that they were the witnesses to the will, and it's just an official recognition of who the executor is. Same thing without a will. The court's going to want to look at the assets that are there, and there's a certain airship succession in Texas that things got to be divvied up in a certain way to the heirs. So okay. they're in the process of having to prove you, yes. heirs, right? They've got to prove yeah. the heirs. They'll do an airship affidavit. So they haven't been able to accomplish that yet. Right. So can they not do anything yet with me? <coughs> anything with me? Well, here's what I always do. Because they want to talk to me. You talk to them. You contract. Now, do they, is it, was there a will involved? There's no will. Okay. Now, who's applying to be the administrator? The daughter, she's the only living kid. Like okay, so there's not going to be a fight over who's going to administer the bill. No. Go ahead and sign it up with her and give yourself a long time period. Because it's going to be six to eight weeks for the court to get it all worked out. Six months closing. Do a six month closing. It gives you plenty of time. That will give you plenty of time to market it. And it gives you make sure you're not going to have it you know, gone from you. It gets the court time to do what they need to do. And, you know, if she gets appointed the independent administrator, it's going to be a lot smoother because the court isn't going to have to approve it. I would suspect she would be if she's the only living heir. There's no reason to have it be a dependent administration. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> once they get that established, it will go real smoothly. Once she's established as the independent administrator, then you can go to closing. And a matter of fact, if you deal with Diana, Diana is great about this. She, she's going to do a title search. And she's going to get the airship affidavit signed. So she's going to call your seller. And she's going to do all the background homework of finding any other possible heirs that could be interested in the property. Call them in to sign the, the paperwork, and that gives her plenty of time. So like Jimmy said, do like a six-month close, and tell her maybe we can close it earlier, but this gives us plenty of time for you to work out your... Okay. Now, now we're going to stop right here because we're going into an area that I said we're not going to go into, and that's PG probate. Now, here's the thing. i, I got a question now because when Brandon said something a few minutes ago, it sounded really good. In fact... He likes to use those fancy low words. So I can't even remember what it was you said, but it was the I was like, that sounded good. And you know what? What entered my mind was this. Let me just ask you a question. How many think if you know, because we have the book out there and you can buy the book and you can be trained, but who prefers being trained from a book versus live? How many think a live training is better than the book? See, we never did a live training on probate. Never done a one and still hadn't planned on doing it but something that just entered my mind the moment he said it i envisioned looking at jet when he was saying it's like we ought to create a one-day trip could that be a one-day training that would definitely be one day do a one-day training <clears throat> itself